Do you know how to solve this maths problem? So let's now solve it together. So let's start with the solution. So on our solution, so this one is the maths problem we have. 5 to the power of a minus 1 is equals to 20. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to remember that suppose we have something like a to the power of m minus n. So this one can also be written as a to the power of n all over a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of a minus 1 can also be written as 5 to the power of a. Then all over 5 to the power of 1 is equals to is equals to 20. So we can still write it by now having now 5 to the power of a all over. So 5 to the power of 1 can also be written as 5 is equals to is equals to 20. So you can still put this one over 1 so that from there now we shall do what is called cross multiplication. So here now we shall have 5 to the power of a is equals to now 20 multiplied by by 5. So from there we can automatically remove this a by introducing the log. So here now we shall have the log of 5 to the power of a is equals to the log of into bracket 20 still multiplied by by 5. So now our next step is now assuming we have something like the log of p to the power of m. So this one can also be written as m the log of the log of p. So that is to mean the log of 5 to the power of a, we shall now have a, the log of 5 is equals to the log of 20 multiplied by, by 5. So for us to remain with a on this other side, we shall now divide both sides by the log of 5, then also this 5 also by the log of 5. Log 5 and log 5 shall cancel each other. So a is equals to the log of 20 multiply by 5 then all over the log of all over the log of 5 so our answer doesn't stop here so we shall still proceed by now having so before we proceed assuming that we have the log a b so this one now we can write as the log of a then also plus the log of the log of b so when you apply this one we shall now have something like a is equals to the log of 20 plus now the log of 5 all over the log of the log of 5. So meaning that we shall divide both sides by the log of 5. So now our a, when you split it now, shall now have the log of 20 all over. So we shall divide both sides by the log of 5. Then also plus the log of 5 also divided by the log of the log of 5. So here now a is equals to the log of 20 all over the log of 5 then plus so the log of 5 and the log of 5 shall cancel so now we shall remain with with 1 so we can still factorize the log 20 all over the log of 5 by now having a is equals to so the log of 20 can also be written as the log of 5 multiplied by 4 then here now plus plus 1 then all over the log of the log of 5. So when this one is simplified, we can now have, so when we simplify it now, we can now say that a is equals to the log of 5. So we shall also divide both sides by the log of 5 here, yeah? then plus the log of 4 all over the log of 5. So let us not forget plus, plus this one here. So our a is equals to so log 5 and the log 5 shall cancel. So now we shall have 1 plus the log of 4 all over the log of 5. The log of 5 plus plus 1. So now we shall now end up with. So when we rewrite it now we shall now have a is equals to. So now 1 plus 1 the log of 4 all over the log of 5. So here now a is equals to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus the log of 4 all over the log of 5. So note that when you have something like the log a all over the log of b, so this one can also be written as the log of a to the base of b. So when you write the log 4 over log 5, we can now conclude that a is equals to 2 plus the log of 4 to the base of 5. So this one now comes as our correct answer. 
So if you loved how we've worked it out, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So thank you and see you in our next video.